into their flesh and just eat their bloody meat, you know, organs spilling everywhere and blood running all down their face, that I would actually enjoy eating that raw flesh, again, blood spilling all down my face without cooking it, with that without adding any seasonings or spices to it. Like Nick and everyone else, please honestly ask yourself, would you actually enjoy that? So in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing why I am no longer vegan. <laughs> Veganism is the right way to go. Our digestive tract facilitates the digestion of a variety of plant foods. The main one was digestive problems. Very obvious that we are not designed to eat meat just by comparing our digestive tract to that of an omnivore or a carnivore, right? Obviously, I started eating a lot more meat and fish to align with my goals and that probably helped to boost up my iron intake. Because our digestive tracts are a lot longer, it allows us to digest more fibrous foods and absorb the nutrients from those foods. One, it was too much fiber. Um, my body can not handle that much fiber. If we eat meat, it actually can begin to rot in our intestinal tract, which increases our risk of colon cancers. Constipation, severe constipation, bloating, gas, and just feeling like I was very backed up. They have giant claws to be able to rip apart an animal and sharp fangs to be able to dig into their flesh and just eat their bloody meat, you know, organs spilling everywhere and blood running all down their face. It's very, very obvious that if we were out in the wild and we saw a deer, we would not be able to hunt down a deer like a lion could. You know, it's just like people like to say that we have sharp teeth, like, and it's only after changing my diet now and like incorporating animal products that I've been able to gain even more healthy weight. Long-term vegans are crazy. Long-term vegans have mental health issues. What did you base that on? Why, why are you choosing to say this? It seems like you're just pulling this argument out of thin air based on absolutely nothing. Of course, now that I'm a lot older and I'm a lot wiser, I can reflect on my life in a different way and I can see just how mentally ill that I still was back then. But I'm just saying that it doesn't make them crazy or make them have mental health issues. I feel like that's a long stretch just because a lot of vegans can get very frustrated at other people for not understanding. If you have a mental illness, it's so easy to be manipulated or to become obsessive over things. Honestly, you feel like that could dig into a deer and I could eat it alive. And moreover, that I would actually enjoy eating that raw flesh. Again, blood spilling all down my face without cooking it, with that, without adding any seasonings or spices to it. Like Nick and everyone else, please honestly ask yourself, would you actually enjoy that? Just how mentally ill that I still was back then. All of your mukbangs, you've eaten this amazing soy chicken and you know, Orleans cooked you up all of these delicious, amazing vegan meals. And two, I'm actually intolerant to soy. So why, why would you need to cause harm to other animals? There's absolutely no reason. Ultimately, not being vegan is the best decision for me. Trying to show them that there is no need to cause harm to animals. We have absolutely no need to eat animals. I feel like I'm a little bit late to the party making this video. And abuse them and take away their babies, you know, rip apart families, kill animals that are just innocent and want to live just like we do. All of my body's energy was trying to go to digesting this food and like getting things moving, but I just wasn't digesting food well. I felt so, so fatigued, but I'd be laying at home in pain and discomfort and just asking myself, why is this happening to me? You know, it's just about trying to open their eyes and help them to make better choices choices, you know, better choices for themselves and for the animals and for the planet that we all live on. It's trying to better the whole entire world. Not to mention, I still did not have a period. It had been 10 years. I was 22 and I hadn't had a period since I was 12 years old. Like, that is not okay. 
at all. You are sitting there right now, you have the ability to eat vegan foods. You have so much inflammation, you don't feel good, you don't feel good looking pregnant all the time. It's kind of ironic because you can't even get pregnant right now because you don't have a period. And you've had the ability to go out and have a vegan version of every single thing that you could possibly want. So why why would you need to cause harm to other animals? There's absolutely no reason. I literally just like stay inside all day because I feel so uncomfortable and sick and tired. And just understanding that killing is wrong. It's no fucking surprise that I've got my period now. <laughs>